How Billionaires Plan to Lie Forever While we all know that billionaires control a substantial amount of the world's wealth, in fact, current projections see the richest 1% controlling two-thirds of it by 2030, what they use their vast fortunes on may surprise you. When they aren't investing in space shuttles, underground hyperloops and sprawling tech campuses, the super-rich are looking at a range of mind-blowing methods to increase their lifespan. We've dug into some of the strangest and most extravagant approaches billionaires have turned to in their quest for immortality, or at least get a few more years in than the rest of us. Young Blood, Transfusions While this may seem like something straight out of a sci-fi blockbuster, there are companies out there conducting trials into the effects of transfusing blood from young, healthy people, specifically those between ages 16 and 25, into those who feel that they're getting on in years. That's not to say it's restricted to the elderly, anyone aged 35 and up is viable for this service. Billionaire PayPal co-founder turned venture capitalist Peter Thiel has made headlines over the past few years for his rumored interest in this process, specifically related to a startup company called Ambrosia. This isn't new ground for Thiel who has made investments in several medical research start UPS looking at ways to extend life via his breakout labs fund. Notable billionaire, Peter Thiel. Companies offering the service, Ambrosia, Alkest and the Young Blood Institute. Cost of service. Trials range from £6,000 to £215,000. Advertised benefits, trials on mice have shown that younger blood invigorates older test subjects although human trials have been less successful. In case this all still sounds a little bit far-fetched, there had been enough progress made to prompt the US Food and Drug Administration FDA, to issue a statement that the process has no proven clinical benefits and is potentially harmful. This is unlikely to deter interest from those with the cash for a pint or two of youthful plasma and as of the start of 2019, there are three US companies offering the service to well-paying trial participants. Cryonics. If you had the chance to be preserved after death with the possibility of being resuscitated in a future where medical science is light years ahead, would you take it? It seems like, for some prominent billionaires, the answer is a resounding yes. Peter Thiel, yes, him again, is the most vocal in his endorsement of this process via substantial investments proving that the mega-rich see some real potential in the method of life extension. One of the most famous people associated with cryonics is Walt Disney. Although the rumors of him being frozen after his death have been debunked, the process itself is very real. Notable billionaires, Peter Thiel, Robert Miller. Companies offering the service, Alcor Life Extension Foundation, Cryonics Institute, Suspended Animation Incorporated and Cryorus. Cost of service. Based on the service currently offered by the Alcor Life Extension Foundation, it will set you back £61,000 to freeze your head or £152,000 for your entire body. Advertised benefits, the possibility of being reanimated once cures to diseases and a way to halt or reverse the aging process has been discovered. Despite the huge amounts of money funneled into it, the research community at large views it as pseudoscience. Another notable billionaire championing cryonics is Canadian businessman and founder of Future Electronics, Robert Miller. He not only donates generously to the Alcor Life Extension Foundation but has also stated that he intends to undergo the process himself. It's not just humans that can benefit from the freezing process according to the Cryonics Institute which also offers a range of options for pets, £4,000 for cats or dogs and even £760 for a pet bird. At least the billionaires who choose to give this method a go won't be lonely in the distant future, assuming that they're ever unfrozen. Digital Consciousness Would you consider uploading your brain to the cloud if it meant you could live forever? What if you knew to do so you'd have to be euthanist as part of the procedure? Now we've really crossed the line into futurist fiction territory, or, if MIT-backed research company Nectome is to be believed, the next step in human consciousness. While it's easy to laugh these ideas off as Silicon Valley gone mad, it's worth mentioning that there's some serious money being invested into this project, with around £1 million in funding and a £900,000 federal grant from the US National Institute of Mental Health. Notable billionaires, Sam Altman. Companies offering the service, Nectome and the Teresa Movement Foundation. Cost of service. To sign up for the waiting list you're required to put down a deposit of £7,600 which, compared to the other entries in this article, seems like a steal. Advertised benefits, the chance to live forever in digital form, actual immortality. However, the process is described by the company itself as, 100% fatal, and, 
As no successful trials have been completed, it's probably best to wait and see. While this may sound completely unbelievable, here's what Google's Director of Engineering, Ray Kurzweil, has to say on the subject. We're going to become increasingly non-biological to the point where the non-biological part dominates, and the biological part is not important anymore. In fact, the non-biological part, the machine part, will be so powerful it can completely model and understand the biological part. Another company looking into ways in which humans can live on via digital consciousness is the Teresa Movement Foundation looking to create mindware which would be used as part of a nanotechnological body, a robot essentially, that would allow you to live without the constraints of pesky things like death and old age. A billionaire fashion designer says scientists have found a way to reverse his aging process, it seems. Bahamas resident Peter Niggard says he is receiving stem cell therapy and that a study from the University of Miami suggests he is getting younger. The Bahamas Tribune reports. They are looking at me, and my markers have shown exactly that I have been actually reversing my aging and getting younger, the 70-year-old says. He adds, I am taking perhaps more stem cell treatment than anybody else in the world. I have been doing it for four years now, so I am sort of a testimonial that this stem cell really works. Niggard has reportedly been advocating for stem cell research in the Bahamas. A recent change in the law would allow medical centers to open there, Though the country's attorney general denies Niggard was involved in the drafting of the legislation, the Bahamas Weekly reported. How long do stem cells live? Some stem cells lasted five months and others more than three years, but again and again the computer program predicted survival time with surprising accuracy. I guess after this video more and more people want to become rich or at least financially independent. Because money can afford us that life we've always wanted to live. What is your attitude towards money? What is your overall opinion of this video? Don't forget to share your opinion below in the comments, I answer every single comment. It's a pleasure for me. And before we say bye I want to share with you that this is my playlist with all interesting videos uploaded by me on YouTube. And this is my latest uploaded video on YouTube it's very interesting click and enjoy. Bye friends and see you soon.